The following steps are not necessary if you've purchased a pre-configured Hotspot PA router. Thanks for choosing Hotspot PA for your internet Wi-Fi hotspot. The following information is intended for operators of Hotspot PA Wi-Fi equipment. Before we begin, let's go over the contents of your Ubiquiti router. In the box of your Ubiquiti Pico Station 2 HP, you will find the router, the antenna, your power supply, and the PoE adapter. Two Ethernet cables will also be provided for you by Hotspot PA. All of these items are necessary for the firmware installation process. First, download a copy of the Ubiquiti Hotspot firmware from download.hotspotpa.com. Once the page is loaded, locate and select the firmware for the Ubiquiti Pico Station 2 HP. Save the file to an easily accessible location. You'll need it in just a few steps. Before connecting the router to your computer, under Network Connections, set your computer's Ethernet port to have a static IP address of 192.168.1.254 and a net mask of 255.255.255 Dot zero. Next, connect the Ethernet port of your laptop or computer to the LAN port of the PoE adapter for your Ubiquiti router. Then, connect the Ethernet port of your Ubiquiti router to the PoE port of the PoE adapter. Then, start your browser and enter 192.168.1.20 into the browser's address bar. Then, log into your router using a username and password of UBNT, all lowercase. Then, click the System tab. Then, over to the Upgrade button. Click the Browse button, then locate and click on the Hotspot PA firmware file that you just downloaded. Then, click the Upload button. Click the Upgrade button. Do not disconnect or remove power from your router for about 5 minutes. When your router's yellow and red LED lights light up together, the firmware upgrade is complete. After updating the firmware, your PC should still be connected to the LAN port on the PoE adapter. Release and renew the DHCP address by disconnecting and reconnecting the Ethernet cable between your computer and the PoE adapter. Enter 192.168.1.20 into the browser's address bar. Log in using an ID of root and a password of hotspot PA, all lowercase. Click on hotspot. Click on VPN. Then, click the Browse button to the right of Upload Client Cert. Then locate and click on the CRT.txt file. Click the Open button in the Browse dialog box. Click the Browse button to the right of the Upload Client key. Then locate and click on the Key.txt file. Then, click the Save button in the lower right hand corner of the web page. After clicking save, be sure you get this message. It verifies that your certain key were properly installed. Click on core. Change the payment ID to your own payment ID provided by Hotspot PA. Change the device ID to something descriptive of your router, like a number or the location where you will install it. 
In the lower right hand corner of the web page, click Save Changes, then click Apply Changes. Now, reboot or power cycle your router. All the remaining Hotspot PA router settings have default values that will work for most situations. Please carefully read the description of each setting before attempting to make any changes. 